Did you know that there's certain things that a woman pays attention to? Yes, when she meets a man for the first time, she notices some things about him. And that includes things that she might find very attractive. So if you wanna know what those five things are, stick around because we are about to get into it right now. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, I did another video about this very topic, but the flip side and the opposite of those things. I did the video that I'm gonna link up here and put in the description where I talked about the things that men notice immediately and find attractive about a woman. So make sure to watch that one too. So ladies, if you're watching this, put in the comment section, let me know some of the things that you notice about a man immediately. And if you are a fella, go ahead and sit back, take notes because this is gonna be beneficial for you. Number one, the first thing that a woman may notice about a man that she finds Find very attractive is his confidence. It's all about confidence, baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna act silly in this video, but his confidence is loud. And I'm talking about how he carries himself, how he speaks, how he walks into a room matters. I have been in the presence of great men around amazing men, and sometimes it's not even always what they say. I have been in rooms where a man will walk in and you can just feel his energy. He may not even say anything yet, but how he carries himself, what he looks like, his confidence is oozing through his pores and everybody around him knows because the energy in the room shifts. Now, every man ain't gonna have that kind of energy, but you do want to have some type of confidence about yourself. And this is important because most women are drawn to men who have that sense of confidence, that sense of reassurance, who is just comfortable in their own skin and they're not trying to shift and change who they are to please other people. Now, I'm not talking about cockiness and arrogance, which we can talk about and we can argue about that later. I'm just talking about this man being his true authentic self and allowing the chips to fall where they may. Because we've all seen men too that come in and they kind of just like head down. They got that different type of energy, you know? And it's just like, that's not really making me attracted to you. That's... <laughs> You ain't gotta be the life of the party, but also too, I need for you to be confident in your own skin and not look like you scared and you know, like a deer in the headlights. We don't want that. The second thing that a woman may notice about a man immediately and find attracting is his style and his grooming. That's probably one of the first things <laughs> that I notice about a man. It's like, what you got on? <laughs> is your hair cut? <laughs> what, what's happening here? Like. I think that what you present to the world is important. I think, especially if you are a person of color, if you're a black person, we have had situations in our, our families. I'm not saying that this is a blanket statement for everybody, but I think you guys can agree where your mama or your grandmama will be like, you bet not leave the house looking like that. <laughs> You are a representation of me. So making sure that you leave the house and you're presentable is important. So his cleanliness, his clothes, specifically the shoes. I don't know if y'all with me on this lady, but I've seen men that got dusty, crusty shoes. And it's just like, you ain't gotta have the latest Jordans and the flyest shoes, but if you got on white shoes and they almost brown, it's just like, go ahead and scrub those. Go ahead and get those white, as white as possible. Like present yourself well, because if not, people are gonna look at, be looking at you like, sir, what's going on here? We just want a man who takes care of themselves, that's well-dressed, that's well-groomed, honey, we love a good edge up. <laughs> we love a good man that takes care of his hair if he is bearded, because you know we love a beard over here. Okay, let's get into it, ladies. Okay, we can't do the baby face. Now, there's some women who enjoy baby faces, but I'm team beard over here, so make sure your stuff is lined up and clean and not all matted up and got food in it. That's that's important. So just take care of yourself. Just like you would want a woman to take care of herself and not lose herself, we just want the same thing for y'all too. And if we're being honest, this is all a part of self-respect and effort. So put in some effort. The third thing that a woman may notice about a man for the first time and that she might find very attractive is his scent. I feel like this list is probably the one that I think. <laughs> Because maybe I love a man who can smell good, okay? I love a man who will walk by me and I get a whiff of his air 
and it smells top notch. Oh, I'm paying attention, right? And I'm not just talking about some soap and water. I'm not just talking about Axe spray, right? Like I'm talking about get you some cologne and not the little cheap toilet. <laughs> the ones that disappear in 2.5 seconds once you spray it on. I'm talking about the day parfum, the day parfum, the day, 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 however you pronounce it. I'm talking about real good cologne. That goes a long way. I'm talking about smelling good after you shower too, right? We have all seen, well, maybe not y'all, but I have been around men too, where it's like, they may not have been the freshest and they think, that spraying cologne on top of the body odor that they may already have is gonna be a good look. And it's just like, no, 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 no. The must, <laughs> the funkiness is combined with the fragrance and that's not a good smell. It's not pleasing to my nostrils. So make sure that you are showered, well-groomed, smelling good, and put on some cologne on top of that. The fourth thing that a woman may notice about a man and that she finds very attractive is chivalry. His manners, him being a gentleman. Again, one of my faves, because I believe that chivalry is not dead. I don't even know if you guys know this, but there was a thing going around on Instagram not too long ago where people were saying like chivalry is only for the person that you're dating or that you're romantically interested in. And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> the men in my life where they're just platonic friends, family members, they're all very chivalrous to me. They open doors for me, not necessarily my car door, but if we're walking into an establishment, they're open the door, holding the door for me. I can't remember a time where I went out and hung out with my homeboys and they didn't cover the full bill, right? Like, I, I don't know <laughs> the things that some of these women are talking about. It's just like, nah, like chivalry is for all relationships, not just the romantic ones. Anyways, I digress. So what I'm saying is that we love a man who's nice, who's kind, who's a gentleman, who treats a wait staff or somebody that's a janitor or somebody with, with respect. We love how they are um, helpful. I've seen men who like, say for instance, for me, for example, I'm just telling y'all all my business, but this is maybe helping somebody. Like I was at an event uh, recently and so I was by myself and I was lugging, you guys know I'm a public speaker, I'm a media personality, I'm a best-selling author, all of the things. So I had this big old luggage with all of my books in there. I was traveling by myself and I was struggling. I'm not even gonna lie. And this black man came and he unpacked my stuff and repacked it and helped and took it to my car and put it in. And it wasn't anything that was romantic, but it was genuinely him seeing another sister struggling and was just like, let me, let me help her, right? And so I love when people are just that kind and helpful. So be, be that way, right? Don't fake the funk right? And try to do all of the things just to get her. <laughs> and then when she gets to know you, she finds out that that's really not what you are all about and you can't sustain that long term. But I think chivalry and being gentle and having manners is important and it's highly attractive. But moving on. Before we move on to the fifth and final one, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Those things help me to continue to create content like this. Make sure to share this with a homeboy and a homegirl and let's get into the next one. The last thing that a woman may notice about a man and find very attractive is his listening skills. Sometimes there are individuals that you may meet and they are really good communicators. I know sometimes y'all may not believe that there's men out there who can communicate well, but they're out there, okay? And so when they are out there, you can tell it separates him from the other people who might not have the active listening skills to engage and continue to have a conversation. I have met men who would over talk me the whole time. I have met men whose tone was overly aggressive. I have met men who talked about themselves the whole entire time and did not flip the script and have a conversation. Remember, two-way. Communication is two-way, right? Especially when it's effective. So being able to listen to the person that you're engaging with is so important. And we notice when you ain't got the sauce. <laughs> Women notice when you're like doing too much. It's just like, did you hear anything that I just said? <laughs> because if not, we can end this conversation completely. So if you're a man listening to this and you haven't mastered your active listening skills, being able to listen to understand, not just to respond, 
because we do that, right? Like all of us do that. We just wait for the other person to stop talking so we can say our point, but we really didn't understand and take in and sympathize and empathize and be able to regurgitate that and say, oh, okay, so what I heard you say is, oh, okay, so did I get this right? So you, right, these are things that makes the other person know that you were truly listening to them. Know the difference, okay? <laughs> and when we find a man who can keep a conversation going and is not pulling teeth, we appreciate that. So my final thoughts on this is that there are tons of other things that I could have mentioned in this video. So like I already said, if I'm missing some or some, there's some other ones that you notice about a man, ladies, put it in the comment section so we can have some dialogue about that. But I firmly believe that these things vary from person to person. What I like and what I notice first about a man is going to vary from what the next person and the next woman is doing, right? And so it isn't about this blanket statement, but there's just some things to think about and consider of how you're showing up in the world, how you're showing up and how other people perceive you. Not to say that you gotta live your life for other people because we are not into people pleasing. I still need to do a video about that, by the way. I'm adding that to my list. I'll probably do that on the Keandra Jackson show. So if you're not watching my other show, you need to tap into that too. But we're not trying to people please here. What we're trying to do is make sure that we're presenting ourselves authentically and well. Ladies, if you run into a man and they don't have any of these things, don't dog him. Don't talk negative about him. Don't drag him through these streets. Just know that that's probably somebody that you would not want to entertain romantically. And that might be a perfect fit for the next woman. So to each its own. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I hope something that I have said was helpful in this video, but I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.